Hello. Today, Scott Manley covered my prototype, which was quite nice of him. He wanted to talk about how black holes aren't going to eat the Earth because of particle accelerators, and in the process, he gave my prototype uh, an astoundingly kind review. The prototype is quite young, and it's definitely not an exciting game. Um, so, him being as kind as he was, was uh, really quite nice, gratifying, to see my, uh, my prototype on the stage uh, and not ripped apart. <laughs> But one of the uh, obvious things about the game, as he was playing it, and uh, any of you who have played it have noticed this as well, the UI is terrible. Well, I've gone and I've worked on the UI, and I decided that this was a good time to show you the UI that I've created for the exchange stack. Um, it's not 100% complete yet, and I'm going to release it on either Friday or Saturday, along with sounds and a couple of other things. But this is a much more intuitive version of the UI. You can tell exactly what's going to happen when you hit a button. And here you can see that it says, oh, well, you're going to be popping it down to the pipe stack. Whereas if I pull down a wire, it says, oh, you're going to be popping it up to the wire stack. So you can really tell what's going to, going to happen. And the exchange is now clearly arrows pointing in opposite directions. So this, um, this is a very, very uh, intuitive way to handle the stack as compared to before. The stack itself is still not very intuitive. I'm thinking about my options there. But all told, uh, this is something I wouldn't be embarrassed to have people use. Uh, also, there have been some comments about how the Klystrons aren't actually in the... Uh, aren't normally in the tunnels when you are building these sorts of things. Um, the Klystrons are normally not inside the tunnel. They are off over there somewhere, and you just bring in waveguides and then these are just RF chambers. Well, that's actually part of the deal. The reason that I haven't put them in yet is because that is a mid to late game thing. These have all been coolants so far, and what I plan to do is turn them into RF guides as well. So you'll have coolants and RF guides kind of intertwined, and you'll have to wrangle that. Um, however, I haven't gotten quite that far yet. I'm hoping to get that done uh, by this Saturday or Friday, um, but I don't have anything to show you yet. Uh, there was also a lot of talk about um, how the game was incredibly dull and boring. I'm afraid I can't do anything about that. But, if you like incredibly geeky things like railroad simulators, I guess this might be something you'd enjoy. Give it a shot, it's free.